Hello everyone, welcome to episode 60 of Not the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm really enjoying this game called Not the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, and I hope you are too. I can't believe I've actually done 60, well, I've done 59 episodes, I'm about to do the 60th. We're on week 67. That's like a year and then some. We've been at this for quite a long time, but we've still got level 3 bosses to beat, which is stressing me out in real life and, of course, in game. So we've got many people who need to be leveled up, but we can't level them up because they refuse to do well, because they're all cantankerous idiots. I don't know why I hired them. So we need to take a crew of level 3s on a mission to level up, but we also need to get some money. So why don't we take a crew of level 3s, uh, plus Ellie. Plus Ellie. It might as well be Ellie. It might as well be Zeke. We need to level Zeke up. Normally I wouldn't take a uh, healer on an antiquarian mission. But we need to level Zeke up in order to get them into the level 4s to do the level 3 bosses. But also we're going to need a lot more money than we currently have in order to upgrade all the people who we want to send to level 3 bosses to the level 3 boss killing, you know, skills and armor and weapons. So, what I think we do is we take Raikuda here. I was considering taking Martinez or Erasmus, but they move around far too much. We'll end up displacing too many units. Now, Ellie here does work in the, third, the second position. But we really want her in the third position to do the Invigorating Vapors. Uh, I mean, honestly, most of them are not hugely great. There's a Blight here. One point around for three rounds. It's not that good. The Stab is okay. In fact, it's often quite appropriate. Ah, that's me. We might as well level Raikudra. Let's just call it that. Uh, in which case, we will just go straight to it. We haven't really got uh, anything to deal with. Besides just going. We haven't got anything to look at. Uh, we haven't got anything to look at in the Hamlet because we did that in the last episode and there's nothing really. We haven't got anything. <laughs> we're poor in many respects. So we're going to have to make a concerted effort to upgrade this amount of money. We may do two antiquarian runs in a row. <clears throat> I think I want some damage on you. Where are we going to go? Let's figure that out first. We probably don't want to do that. It's going to be a level 3 mission, not a level... Activate 3 Animalistic Shrines. This will involve us taking stuff, but we'll use it on the way. Explore the rooms in the cove. That's probably not great with this setup. We could also do the ruins, which is cleanse, which is just kill 100% of all the things in the rooms. That seems like the easiest, because it doesn't involve us taking stuff and using up our inventory space for the entirety of the mission. It is a medium, but I think they all are. I wonder if the uh, the number of points tells you the level of the mission. No, it doesn't. It tells you the length of the mission. Yes, long. So this must be a short one. I'm not going to click on it because everyone will run away. So the colour is that difficulty, which I'm having trouble with. I can't really, I can't directly distinguish the colours, although I'm getting better at it. Uh, and the number of points is the length. That's great. That means you can just pick one. But we're going to pick this one. It's a medium mission. So we're going to be camping. But we can take... I don't know. There's a position one trinket somewhere. It might have been... Yeah. That's actually quite a lot of damage. Less crit and less speed. I mean, minus one speed is bad, but who cares what point... Uh, who are we taking here? Mr. Steve. Who cares when Mr. Steve goes? His job is to get hit. Let's see here. More crit, more stress, less virtue. More crit is okay, but it's only 2%. Damage to range skills, definitely. Minus 5% stress heals received. I don't really mind that. I don't tend to use that one, so I'm going to go ahead and actually try it. We'll take a book that helps us with the party. Uh, yeah. And there's another one for... The scouting chance is nice, but I don't really care for the 
track disarm because uh, Ellie won't be doing that. And you will take the obvious two Vestals. See, this is the thing about the Vestal is you can get these extra, you know, 33% plus 25% without taking the trinket that compromises your healing, uh, your stress. Unlike Pete, who has to take two trinkets that one of them undoes the healing of the other one, one of them undoes the effect of his healing, and one of them increases his healing, but also increases the stress that he takes. There's an immunity mask for the leper. That's pretty good. Let's provision. We won't take too much. Ah, uh, it's a medium mission, but... Uh, we did okay on food in the last one, because we happened to get a very lucky drop from... Um, just from combat. The, I mean, we can't count on that, but also at the same time, we don't want to overstock on food and find that we had too much. So I'm thinking, sort of, balance it out like this. Uh, I'm happy to take the skeleton keys. If I'm thinking of picking up food on the way, I should definitely at least take medicinal herbs. There's not that much opportunity to find things in the ruins that you know, give you stuff for medicinal herbs, but if we do, we'll be glad that we brought it. Um, I think that'll do. I want to get as much, as much money as possible. Um, possibly even at the expense... I don't want it to be at the expense of one of our characters, obviously, but I don't mind it being at the expense of the stress of them running away. Even if... Wow. It has to be enough to cover the, the therapy costs, right? So we're completing 100% of room battles, and there is one right here, which is actually quite annoying. Because I don't want to have to go in that direction and then come back, but whatever, we're doing it. Pack has already been looted, that's fine. Uh, we should check. So everyone... Oh, you haven't been upgraded for ages. I feel bad about that, because I've only just thought to look. So make a note that um, Mr. Steve really needs up upgrading. We've got the the protection amulet. We've got Zeke there to really up our... Healing abilities, which is great. Can't believe we hit so many traps. We hit two traps in the last episode. And we got Marie with 100% trap disarm. To disarm them both. And she screwed them both up. Can't get the sap, I tell you. Right, we advance and repost. What do we kill first? S reasonable chance of crit, 9%. I'm happy with that. Probably this one. I mean, I know that the Arbalists here can actually be quite bad. Because of the amount of damage that they can do. Uh, Ziki, why don't you try and stun something? In oh, well done. <laughs> nice try. Thanks for playing. Versus Unholy, which it is. 12 damage is fine. Uh, Quarrel. Dodge. Dodge. You just dodged a crossbow bolt, I'm just saying. Don't get cocky. You did. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing there? You dodged the riposte, which is not something I'm a fan of, if you don't mind. So now we get to find out their actual order, which turns out to be everyone goes except me. Uh, we'll move back here. It's not brilliant, but what can you do? It's actually one of those difficult first round missions because uh, first round combat. Look at that. We just completely, almost completely lost Rakuda in one go. I mean, the fact that he's coming out with white stuff means we're probably running away, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Eight. That was five to seven, and your plus 33% gave me eight. What the fuck? Keskala fuck. Come on now. Apparently, we're not cut out for this at all. Let's invigorate. Can you kill this? By no means. Could kill that, but I'm not going to try. It's probably our best bet here. I've given you such a good dodge, and you still got hit a lot. Oh, and you. <laughs> Everyone's dying, help. Everyone I know is dead. Uh, I mean, we can definitely kill... None of them? What the fuck? Look. I'm not a fan of this. Don't let me run away on the first one and then completely rethink my strategy. I don't have enough people. You have to heal yourself, right? Eight, what are you doing? Where's my amazing heals from this amazing healer? 
I'm gonna have to bail, I think. I'm just stunned. That seems bad. That seems really bad. I mean, we could keep you away from death's door, but why? This is probably that one more turn that you definitely should not be taking. Because it's gonna own you. Come out. <laughs> Leave. Oh god. Oh god, help. Everyone's stunned. Leave. Abandon. Yeah, this is far too hard. I can't believe I didn't realise that Mr. Steve hadn't been upgraded. That was such a stupid mistake. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll go back to town. I don't think anyone got any XP from that. Everyone's got sick. Uh, this is okay. This is pretty good. That means you try to do things. That's another one of those random using curio things. That was bullshit. That was one of those um first round attacks that you just you can't deal with it. But it was a what a mistake to make, right? For discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. In that case, we'll do something else. Let's do a Warren's mission with Jairus. With Imdism. With it's level one, so we can't actually take Holmesy. We can't take. Is anyone? No. Okay, cool. Um, we can't take a healer, basically. Everyone's in a suitable position. Uh, but we don't have to upgrade anyone. This is a level 1 mission. I mean, we, we can upgrade them. But we can't really afford... Well, maybe we can afford it. Because they're only going to be level level 2 upgrades, right? So we should upgrade... Skills, I think. No. Man, we've really... Uh, as we level up all our people, and we don't have any low-level people to do missions like this... We're going to find ourselves in a much worse situation, just in terms of the available people who are not stressed out to do missions that will not stress them out, right? Uh, I just don't know. Oh, you've been completely upgraded, which is nice. Um, so the more we fail at these. <laughs> the more, um, what am I saying? The more times we fail in a mission, the fewer people we have, but also the less money we have. So over time, we start to real we just run out of people. There's no one left. At which point, we have to start kicking people out, I suppose. Uh, don't really care for that. Yes. Are we camping? Didn't check. I don't think so. I think it was a short one, which is probably for the best without a healer. Um, and you might as well take versus beast. Where are we going? The wield or the warrens? I think the warrens, which is beast. We'll check. We'll go to the warrens, which is beast. Fizz, why don't you take that? That's pretty nice. Can't believe we haven't actually picked up another one of these yet. We've had several opportunities, but they've all been ones we've run away from. So, yeah, we'll take this. Less dodge is probably okay. 13 is still quite a lot. <sighs> Imidism. Stun skill chance I might actually take. That could be okay. I'm thinking... Um, actually, can you be at the back? Yes. If I give you a sniper's ring, is that okay? Mm. Oh, I could give you damage. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give you Sniper's Ring. And then you can have some dodge and a book. Let's take the scout chance. Yeah, let's take. I quite like these two. The less chance of us being surprised is really good. But the uh, scouting chance, I think, is quite useful. Ooh. Forgot about those. This is 25% damage versus everything. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's go. Don't want to take too much once again, and of course, the more we do it. It is a medium mission, though. The more we do it, the less we have money to spend on the next one. Definitely should take some shovels. Oh, what else? <laughs> Now 
Maybe nothing else? I actually have some money left over? It's not a short mission, though. This is. I don't want to go to the wield. Do I? I mean, we could get a lot of diseases from this, which I'm not too happy with. That's bad. We can't really take... Well, we certainly can't take one of our grave robbers because they won't go to these low-level missions. I think I'm going to do a short one rather than a medium one and therefore take less stuff. I realise that this is a bit of a, a U-turn, but you know, I'm practising for politics. I want to take one. One key. Eight of those. One of those. Take some bandages because... Um, there are things in the wield that you can use bandages on, and therefore get more stuff. And at some point, we're going to have to actually have some money before uh, everything goes Pete Tong. Now, I realise once again, I've probably put myself in a situation where we're not really all these paths once. too well now they are set up as my own for the mission that we sent ourselves on, but okay. Yeah, 100, 70, 80, 100... Oh, thank you. I mean, at a low-level mission like this, with 100% trap disarm, you can basically expect that we uh, don't fail. The match is struck. A blazing but star. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to even have the opportunity to fail. I want to do that. Next, don't forget to use the gyrus to do all the curios. Oh, except for this son of a bitch won't let me. That's nice. Thank you. At least for finding a decent amount of money in there, but still, we have a, an antiquarian whose job it is to do that sort of thing. So if you could just sort of lay off. I don't want to have to engage in any discipline or reaction here, Vague, but... Consider this an informal warning. We haven't had any complaints. Oh, you f fucking dick. How are you still here? How are you doing this? They're only level two. And they've already got stupid stress crap out the wazoo. Here, have this. Very good. Be stunned. Good. That's what I want to see. Do what you will. I don't care. Bring it on. Leave. Oh, one hard damage. Fucking asshole. Um. I've got to bring it down. It does put a bleed on it, I think, yeah. So that's, what, six? Still not enough, but okay. Do we want to do this? Or just this? Could kill it. It's dead in... It's, it's killed it. Good job. Nine to eighteen. Don't miss. Eighteen! Of course you did eighteen. Because it's not like I needed you to only do nine. It's not like I need the high rolls when we need high rolls and low rolls. I'll make the high rolls and you make the low. I'll be in Scotland for ye. For me, I'm not real. I'm not even drinking. We'll never meet again. Kill it. I don't care about dodge. Yeah, bring it on. Good. Good start. You've got uh, another one of those. We can sell it. Not right now, unfortunately. But sell it, we sell it. Is there a combat? I don't know. Let's find out. There is not. We're doing 90% of rooms, which means we can avoid one. This one has stuff in it, though. So I'm going to go to it. Maybe um, less than ideal. You're going to open it, aren't you? You're not a map. Brilliant. I'm wondering whether it already knows what's inside it. This combat is fine. If it already knows what's inside it, then it might decide whether Vague will attempt to get stuff out of it based on what's in it. It didn't have any coins in it, so Vague didn't go, oh, is that coins? Grave nibble. Dodged. Incidentally, I do hope I earwormed everybody. And you're all singing Scotland the Brave. All day. Oh, thank you very much. This expedition at least Oh, magic success. comes with a price. 
Um, yes. Uh, no, you do it. Dun, da, 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 stuff. That's why we're here. Alright, this is going well. Famous last words. I tried to make a webcomic called Famous Last Words, but mostly I just wanted to call it Famous Last Words. I didn't actually have any premise, content, jokes, story. Wherewithal. Brilliant. Even more Blight Resist. Do that again. Stop talking. Get on with it. Everyone bleed. Brilliant. That's like a billion damage around, which is what we like to see. Might as well do this, because they haven't had a go yet, and we would like them to miss, if possible. Can we kill this? Five. You can't hit that, unfortunately. Yeah, I was hoping to roll low there, so that the damage over time killed it. Which would cause it to not leave a mark. A corpse. You got debuffed to the tune of more stress until camp. Bit of a problem, we might have to send Sir Gyrus in for stress relief. Um, that's a bit of a snide debuff, to be fair, until camp. I mean, A, we're not camping. But B, in many cases when we are camping, we're not camping anytime soon. We'll try and stun this Joker. He already looks stunned, but... Yep, two damage. You've got a hit left in you, unfortunately. So we'll kill you outright. That seems like the best idea. We don't want to give Ellie and uh, Sajiris any more damage than we have to. Oh dear. <laughs> Mortality clarify in a single strike. This is not very much damage. So we might as well go for the one that's closer to death. Just bring it in. Uh... Quite likely to kill that one. But that one's going to have a go. That one's already hit us, so we'll do this. Ooh, glad I did. Perfect. Now you've started rolling low when I kind of don't want you to. <laughs> kind of figures, I guess, but mm, I'm allowed to grumble still. No one has a heal for you, so suck it, I guess. Uh, you do. There you go. <laughs> Why? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, look at all that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking that. It's worth a thousand. All these are good stuff. We haven't got any deeds. Uh, we haven't got any crests for some reason. And those things... You can't get rid of them. Ha! Da da da. Uh, increased resistances. Why don't you drink this? There we go. I mean, rather than chuck stuff away, which is what we're accustomed to doing. We should probably make the best of them. If we're thinking of throwing something away... We might as well actually get a benefit out of it in the first place. Did they just disappear immediately? Probably. Spirits are lifted. But it's not like we could have done anything. We couldn't drink it when we got to the next room that mattered. Good. There's some more healing for you. We should use these next time we come up against those things that uh, got high protection. Because we can counteract some of that with high damage. Uh, you might as well be the one to do it. Give you a bit of stress healing, which is actually quite nice. And no one's interested in this torch. So what we'll makes the gyrus do it? Oh, they stack! To be spent. Ooh, I'm a fan of that. I am indeed a fan of that. Right. Nearly there. Another one like this should be great. Ah. Oh. I mean, in this stage, it's not that big a deal. Um, in the ruins, I think that will cause him to open those cabinets. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, good, you're surprised. Beat the shit out of this ASAP. Good enough.
These things don't bleed, so there's no point in uh, even trying. Yeah. Definitely needed to get rid of that before it dominated the fight. Uh, Biff, brilliant. And then Ellie, can you kill this? Not Ellie. Sajiris, can you kill this? Remember when that was Ellie? Basically the same mission. Oh, good. <laughs> the only attack they got off. Uh, was shit. Of course, you can stress heal yourself and heal yourself, and yet you don't need to do either. Hit him with your chains. Destroy them all. Wayne's getting very enthusiastic about this. I appreciate it, it's encouraging. Yeah, this this person too. Right, so uh Imidism will be eating a doggy treat. Well, feeding it to the dog, I assume. Don't really like to uh judge. Let's try and blight these. It's not a great chance, but I don't want to transform. Well, you resisted, but that's okay. I think we do this here. Um, I want to transform and stress basically everybody out slightly. What's this? Three rounds, okay. So now we just beat them down, I guess. Okay, good job. These are human and eldritch, so we've got no beasts. I did kind of forget. We've got a stun skill that I haven't really been using. I didn't fucking unlock the stun skill, that's why. I was really daft. Look, <laughs> we all make mistakes, and me more than everybody. Um, let's prop. Can we do that? Is that worthwhile? I think it might be. All right, what's your damage here? 7 to 14, that is quite a lot. I mean, it's got a bleed on it. It's never quite enough. The bleed is always one point more than it needs to be. Well, less than it needs to be. So we're marked here. This is a problem because we don't want to die. And then this groping swipe, this is going to attack. Let's dodge. Ouch. It wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. We need to get the damage out here. And I think we're just going to rake here. Don't forget, we gave this on purpose. This bleed skill thing. Uh, pretty sure one of those skills is a bleed skill. Oh, shit. Excellent. These things are kind of... They don't do too much actual damage. So I'm happy with that. Why don't you heal slightly? I mean, the one is basically going to keep you alive. Um... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just went completely silent and they go, oh shit, what's going to happen? This is fine. I mean, the blight is not great. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Actually. Why did you get... Have you already been blighted? That's a bit mean. Uh, despite all the rage. No bleeds here. I genuinely thought this was a bleed. So I've kind of done a bit of a whoopsie on both trinkets here. Neither of these units has a... Uh, skill that matches the trinket I gave them, which is a shame. I should have just swapped them around. Because <laughs> you got stuns and you got bleeds, so. I don't know. Like the corpses, maybe? What would you do? What would Jesus do? I need you to eat something. We'll do this, because A, you can, and B, it gives Imidism here the opportunity to do more damage to that particular thing. I'm going to try and keep you alive. A crit! Fucking crit heal from Sajiris. Which also did some uh, stress healing. It's also great. This is bad. So this is uh, damage versus marked. 80%. Boom. So that was worth doing. It's not always necessarily worth doing. I have to be honest. Ooh, we're scouting. This is great. Yes, that's fine. We can get rid of this and take that. Why? <laughs> In this direction, there's an obstacle, but we only have to do one of these two rooms. So I'll do this one. Of course, in this direction, there's a fight, but turns out it's probably an easy fight. 
So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, Bile, six. And it will do three for three rounds and it doesn't do any actual damage, so... Let me just hit one. How? How? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, this does do some damage, so... A crit for the same amount as all the other ones just were. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, we can get to the end of all of this without actually... How did you miss, by the way? We can get to the end of all of this. Like, this is what? One round left? So as long as nothing horrible happens in this combat, which is an easiest combat, so I'm not expecting it to go that badly. Oh, why? These fucking things. This is a level one mission, and you're just giving him a fucking disease. Look at it. More speed and less everything else is useful. Another one falls. Another one bites the dust. And it's dead. Right, good. Yes, we'll have that, thank you. Seize this momentum. Push on till the tasks end. Oh, you're gonna fucking trap. It's trapped! Don't touch it! Out of crap! Six damage. You got ten. Look, there's nothing in this room, we just have to go to it. Once we've been to it, we can leave. When we leave, hooray! All healing damage is forgiven. Paths and roads bring What's this soldiers shit? and supplies. Bounty hunter plus two Harry. speed. Don't know that's great. Could be great. I don't seem to value speed very much, and I'm wondering if that's one of my major failings. If we can get in first, like having high speed could really make the difference in the round. Just like it makes a big difference if everything's stunned, right? If everything's surprised. Got the egg, as well as the other one. You're afraid of the light, okay? You're afraid of people. You just... Uh, they've all come back with more stuff. You answered the letter. Now, like me, Ten. you are a part of this place. So we only have two level two characters left. Unfortunately... They're really going to have to be bolstered by some good level 3s in order to get them through the next while. Mr. Steven Z here cooling off slightly. What have you got? That's bad. That's bad. So maybe we should take a proper party out. You know, Rakuda, Martinez, Ziki. Let's, let's chill Megistos out. Because... Mana armses are pretty good at moving back. Like, this is this is pretty good. It moves you forward again. Um, which means that we can sort of play them off against a grave robber who likes to dance around a little bit. Still don't know what to do with Penelope Puddles even though we've used them to some good value previously. Otherwise they wouldn't be level 3. Maybe that's a good um, boss killer. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's sell some shitty trinkets. Yes. Pays for someone's thingy. Yes. I mean, I'm not using these, but it's good to have one of them, right? And how have we only got one Plague Doctor? We should be looking in the stagecoach to see if we want to replace anybody, but honestly... Who? Right? I've put so much... I know it's a bit of a sunk cost fallacy thing going on, but I've put a lot of effort into these people. I don't want to... I don't want to have to, you know, get rid of any of them just for somebody else. Let's, uh, let's do Marie, because we have to put Marie in. We can't just wait, because Marie will be afflicted irrespective of what happens. Um, well, I guess that'll do us for this episode. Thank you for watching. I don't know what we'll be doing in the next episode, but I hope to see you then. Goodbye.